morning students i am welcome you all to the online teaching session of academic world school bemetra it is my first lecture on grammar and today we are going to learn about subject verb agreement it is very important topic as it is helpful in error detection as well many times questions related with the subject verb agreement are asked in competitive exams too so let's begin but before i begin i request you to keep a notebook and pen with you so that you can make important points so let's begin what is subject verb agreement as the title suggests here verb must agree with its subjects in terms of number and person it means here if the subject is singular then the verb also will be singular if the subject will be plural verb also will be plural now let's see through this table there we have to see persons first of all there are three persons first person second person and third person and we have two numbers singular and plural first person singular subject is i first person plural subject is we second person singular subject is you second person plural subject is also you third person singular subject is he she it and third person plural subject is they here we find first person is the speaker if the speaker is one i if the speaker some many at a time then we second person is listener when the person is one to listen so you when the listeners are more than one then you third person about whom we are talking so if the name of the person he is masculine so we can use he for feminine gender she for neuter gender we can use it and for the plural subject we can use they here it can be any name for example pen here it can be a stool here it can be the name of any country india and here day here will be pens here will be countries or books all plural so here we have to concentrate on this he she and it because these are third person singular subject whenever i will tell you the first rule of subject verb agreement that i keep in mind that when i say third person singular i am talking about he she it or any singular now let's see the verb do we have the verb also in singular and plural form definitely but in english the rule is like that whenever any verb would take s or es then it becomes singular the rule is just against the nouns because in nouns when it take s or es it becomes plural but in verbs when it take s or es it becomes singular so let's see uh, the rules of subject verb agreement rule number 1 here rule number 1 it says that whenever subject will be third person third person singular singular subject third person singular subject then the verb we the verb use will also be singular singular verb singular verb singular verb means what it will definitely take s or es let's see for example example number one dog barks or we can say dogs bark are these both the sentence correct in the first sentence dog is singular so it has taken s or es to the verb in the second sentence dogs it is plural subject therefore it did not take s or es let's see one more example saurav plays cricket 
Sarav play plays with it. Sarav is third person singular subject again, and therefore play has taken means play has taken s on es here. One more example. Let's see one more example. Please give us oxygen. Please give us oxygen. Here, please is the plural subject, and therefore it did not take s on es here, right? So I hope the first rule of subject group agreement is very clear to you. Now let's see the second rule of subject group agreement, which says if any sentence begins with rule number two, if any sentence begins with each. Every, either, or it may be neither. Then, what sort of verb should be? Here also, we will use singular verb. Singular verb. Let's see two examples again. How one? It will each one of you, of you. Is watching this video. Each one of you is watching this video. Here, subject is each one of you. So here we don't have to look at you. Just look at each and accordingly use the verb is. Though we are talking to many at a time, but still individually. We are considering them as if we talk to them individually. Now let's see one more example, another example. Now of either, either of them has done it. Either of them. Now the subject of the sentence is either of them, and the verb is has. Is it right? According to them. Yes, it is right, but not according to them. According to the rule, which says whenever sentence begins with each, every, either, neither, then the verb should the verb used should be singular. So it is right example, right verb. Now let's see one more example. Neither of them, neither of them was absent. Absent yesterday. Neither of them was absent yesterday. The subject of the sentence is neither of them, and therefore singular subject. So I have used was as the verb here. I hope this second rule of subject verb agreement is very clear to you. If you want to note down, please note down the rules also and examples also. So let's come to the third rule of. Subject and verb agreement, which says, whenever there will be two subjects in a sentence, whenever there will be two subjects in a sentence, and if they are joined with, joined with, few words are there, it's like as well as, along with, or it may be with only. Sometimes there is the word. Like, sometimes unlike. In that case, you the verb you have to use will always be agreeing with the first subject. So after this, again we will use some noun because two subjects we have now: subject number one and subject number two here. So the verb use verb agrees. Verb. Agrees with first subject. Verb agrees with first subject. Now, verb, whatever verb I am going to use, it will just go with the first noun. Here you can see. Let's see two example here. Example. Anil, as well as. His parents wants to change 
his condition his condition here you see in this sentence anil is the first subject and then his parents is the second subject and both subjects i have joined with as well as so as per the rule say the verb of an agree is with the first subject and therefore the first subject is anil so anil wants to change his condition so here this is the sentence now let's see one more example here ministers ministers with pm are taking decisions for the nation for the nation now who is taking decisions for the nation are we talking about pm or ministers we have two subjects are here and we have joined them with with as say here ministers with pm are taking decisions and the verb use is are here why because it should agree with the first one first subject and first subject is ministers so it is the third rule of subject verb agreement now let's go to the next rule of subject verb agreement fourth rule now the fourth rule of subject verb agreement says rule number 4 whenever two subjects would be joined again two subjects are there but they are joined with either or or it may be neither nor or it may be not only but also here there will be noun used between here and here also will be noun right two nouns means two subjects we have which are joined with either or neither nor or not only but also so in that case in that case the verb should agree verb agrees with second subject second subject now the verb we have to agree here with the second subject second subject now now this is the second subject of the sentence now let's see through example again here here for example either either you or he now has done it either you or he has done it now again we have two subjects here one is you and another is he so as per the rule either and or i have joined two subjects you and he so it will agree definitely with the second verb here let's see to one more example for example not only not only poor countries not only poor countries but rich country like america like america is also suffering suffering from covid 19 now let's see the first subject is poor countries is it plural subject yes and second is that rich country now i am talking about only one country that is america is suffering i use the singular verb is because i am talking about rich country america and the rule says whenever there will be either or neither nor not only but also the verb must always agree with the second subject right 
Now let's see the next rule of subject verb agreement. Four rules we have already learned. I request you to keep noting all the points. Now, rule number five. It says whenever two nouns are joined with and, two nouns are joined with and, then the verb used is always plural verb. Plural verb. Verb should always be plural. And definitely, it is very simple rule of subject verb agreement. For example, here Anil and Mukesh. Anil and Mukesh are best friends. Anil and Mukesh are best friends. We are talking about Anil and Mukesh. Definitely. Therefore, it will be R. But there is one exception to this rule. Exception. Now let's write exception. Exception says when these two subjects are joined with and but but I start with the but but uh, use as single unit. It is just continuation of the first rule only that when the two subjects are joined with and then it becomes plural but if both the subjects are joined with and but used as a single unit then the verb used again is singular verb singular verb how can we will join the two subjects with and and still singular verb let's see two examples example for example rice and curry rice and curry is my favorite food item rice and curry i have joined with and but still i am using is now let's see one more example slow and steady wins the race slow and steady wins the race slow and steady again two subjects i have but they are used as a single unit in a sentence let's see one more example law and order is required in a country in a country law and order is required in a country law and order order two different things but still i use here is so the third so the fifth rule of subject and verb agreement says that when two subjects are joined with and it is treated as the plural subject but if they are used as a single unit then we will use single singular verb now let's see the sixth rule of subject verb agreement sixth rule of subject verb agreement it says some words are there which are always treated as a singular subject because in uh, noun they always remain the same. For example, rule number six, words like politics or it may be news or it may, it may be athletics, athletics, these are always considered as singular and therefore always a singular verb example here politics politics is a game can i say politics are a game no you may consider a good game or it is a game of power whatever now next sentence for example news for example news keeps us updated news keeps us updated here news i cannot say news are news is only i will say and therefore singular verb keeps us updated right 
so it is the let's see one more example of athletics also athletics athletics is a track and field game athletics is a track and field game again i will use athletic because it is not used for one game but in fact all the games uh, now let's see the next rule of subject verb agreement and it says whenever there will be some phrases used phrases now i am talking about phrases like in terms of phrases in terms of terms of time it may be place it may be where it may be amount etc used as the single unit in that case it will definitely take singular verb it will take singular verb singular verb now phrases it will look like plural but still it will take singular verb like example for example 10000 10000 is it a huge amount 10000 i'm talking about 10 not one so still i will use is is a huge amount 10000 is a huge amount or i can say 3 hours 3 hours is enough time is enough time for 80 marks paper or even i can say like 3 uh, miles 3 miles is a long distance is a long distance now 3 miles is a long distance here i am talking about 3 miles here i am talking about 3 hours here i am talking about 10000 but still i have used singular verb here right so these are the basic rules of subject verb agreement uh and beside that there are few more rules but i will be coming with them in the next lecture okay now listen carefully that okay first of all let's revise what we learned today we learned a lot the first rule of subject verb agreement that whenever the subject will be third person singular then the verb will uh, the verb used will be singular verb second rule, rule we learned that whenever any sentence would begin with each every either neither in that case the verb will be considered singular singular verb because they are considered as the singular third rule we learned whenever two subjects in a sentence would be joined with as well as along with with like and like etc in that case the verb will agree with first subject next rule we learn that whenever two subjects will be joined with either or neither nor not only but also in that case the verb agrees with the second subject next rule we learn that when two subjects are joined with and then it is considered as plural subjects plural verb but there is one exception that when it will be treated it will be considered as a single unit in that case singular verb also has to be used and the last rule which we learn that some phrases which are related with the time distance or weight or amount they are considered singular because we consider they always one and not many we look at them as a singular so there are some assignments regarding the same has been uploaded in the erp you have to download those assignments and submit it back thank you